You ever get that feeling that sometimes it's just too hard to be happy? Do you ever feel like it can be really challenging to know what to do that can help you be happier? I can totally relate to this. Like when you really think about it, a lot of people don't spend a lot of time thinking about what actually makes them happy. I certainly didn't. But good news for us, there's some scientific ways that are proven to show us how we can be happier right now today. I'm Thomas Edwards, creator and author of The One Up Effect, helping high performing professionals who have families have fun becoming their best self through purpose, play, passion, and performance. In this video today, I'm gonna to share with you three science-backed ways where you can start being happier and live a better life today. The first thing is to start letting go of the idea of perfection. One of my personal values is to really focus on sustainable progress rather than unsustainable perfection. And the reason why I love progress over perfection is that progress is continuous. There is no end to progress, whereas perfection is one moment in time that once that moment passes, it's gone. And we spend a lot of our time trying to get to a place where we are only gonna experience that moment just once for a fraction of a second. Where do we experience perfection? New research in the Journal of Research and Personality identifies three types of perfection. The first one is perfection within ourselves. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be perfect and to get things right all the time, which is really unrealistic, but yet we still do this. The second is perfection of others. We create this high level of expectation for other people and it is a breeding ground for resentment. The moment we set the expectation, we already intuitively know that the expectation is not gonna be met and we immediately drop ourselves in a state of unhappiness. And the third thing is the perfection that you think people demand of you. We create these stories oftentimes that make us believe that other people want perfection out of us and that's just untrue, yet we live our lives under this, this pressure of feeling like we need to be perfect for other people. And a lot of this can be derived by fear, the need for external validation, but at the end of the day, it's causing us a lot of anxiety and causing us to be less happy. So by letting go of the idea of perfection and choosing progress, you're gonna find yourself relieved of this pressure and this anxiety, and instead really satisfied and happy with the progress that you're making. And the great thing about progress is that as long as you're making effort continuously, you will always make progress. Second thing is to be more social. And I've talked about this in previous videos before, but research has proven that socializing is a mood booster even for those who tend to identify as more introverted or who have a lot of social anxiety, when you're able to actually feel a sense of connection to others, it instantly helps you be happier. The third thing, forgive others, maybe even yourself. Research has shown that when we feel wrong by others or by ourselves, there's a sense of dehumanization that occurs that drops us into a lower state of unhappiness and even depression. And we even get to this place where we're feeling so much resentment that we start to fantasize ideas of revenge against other people. And we also fall into a state of self-pity and potential self-harm for ourselves. We're feeling that level of angst about ourselves. But when we practice forgiveness, we give ourselves a chance to reconnect with our own humanity. And through research, other benefits of forgiveness include lower anxiety and stress, less hostility in daily interactions with people that we know and people that we don't know, improved mental health and overall self-esteem. But this is what I think, comment below, let me know what you think about this. These are actual scientifically proven to actually increase happiness. Are these things that you can practice? What are the obstacles or hiccups that you found that are preventing you from feeling happy? Comment below, let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell, get notified when we put out videos which happen almost every single day. And if you found this video interesting or inspiring, please share this with someone who might find this interesting or inspiring too. I'd love to hear what they have to say and get them in on the conversation. If you wanna learn the exact process and science behind reducing stress, eliminating burnout, and having fun improving areas of your life, including your health, wealth, self, marriage, family, career, business, and not feel the need to sacrifice personal happiness or professional ambition, you can go to Thomas Edwards Jr. 
www.thomasedwards.com. Once again, this is Thomas Edwards reminding you to make life a game that you can win and have fun playing. Until next time, I'll see you around.